Hi, and welcome to this very special edition of the Health for Life podcast for those who want to build strong trucks and strong bodies. This is Kevin Munez and Trisha Foley, your wellness team, bringing you practical tips and tricks to improve your health. Hey, everybody. Thanks for listening in. As you heard, this is a special edition. And before we get to our topic today on mental health, I do have some bittersweet news to share. For the past four years, it's been my pleasure to serve the Volvo community alongside Kevin. And this has been one of the absolute best jobs I've ever had because it's really allowed me to work with such great people. And today's a tough day because it's my last day. Um, And although I'll still be with Premise Health, I'm taking a new role, but don't worry. I have with me today your new Premise Health coach and registered dietitian, Maya Hickman. Um, She is going to seamlessly step in and start working alongside Kevin. So I just wanted to introduce you. So Maya, say hello. Hi, everyone. Uh, My name is Maya. I am really excited to be in this new role. Um, Like uh, Trisha mentioned, I already can tell this was going, this is going to be uh, one of the best jobs I have ever had. And I'm really looking forward to working with everyone. Yes, welcome, Maya. And we look forward to working with you and continuing our collaboration and keeping all of our people nice and healthy. Yes. So today, Maya and I will be tag teaming with Kevin to bring you really important information about taking care of your mental health. Yes, so mental health is something that can affect anyone and everyone. In fact, it's actually estimated that 26% of adults in the US are currently dealing with a mental health problem. We as a society are high paced and high pressured. We all have so much going on. So it's really important to take a, take a break and really take care of all of, all of aspect, aspects of our health, including the mental health. Absolutely. And we're so used to those instant results and having that information at our fingertips that it can add a lot of pressure. Yeah, and and that combination can add a lot of stress and understandably so. The, The question is, is what can we do when we start to feel overwhelmed, anxious or even depressed? Yes, it's a really important question, Um, one that we can certainly address today. I think equally important is acknowledging that you are having a tough time and taking that time for self-care. Absolutely. It's very easy to try to push through or ignore our emotions, but typically if they aren't managed or if we ignore them, they can only make things worse. So what are some tools or some ways to practice self-care? Yeah, that's a great question. Self-care depends on the person. Um, The question I like to ask is, what is something that you enjoy so much that you totally lose track of time when you're doing it? Um, You'll get all kinds of answers from fishing to painting to target shooting. That is such a great question. Self-care also requires time which can be a barrier for a lot of people, a lot of us hardworking people, right? A follow-up question would be, when can you carve out this time for yourself? Before work, after work, during during the breaks? Well, that is, no, that's a great point too. So many people don't allow for that time for themselves to, to refill their energy cup, so to speak, and to decompress or just relax. Yeah, it's true. And just a little bit of time can go a long way when it comes to your mental health. Oh, absolutely. So tell me about some other tools that you can use when you're either really stressed or maybe going through a tough time. For sure. Um, For stress, I like to use a 24 second stress buster. This is an easy tool you can absolutely do anywhere. It takes the body from fight or flight to a state of, um, you know, kind of rest and digest, if you will. It changes the physiology. Yes, this is a really great exercise and it really don't doesn't take that much time. Again, it takes about 24 seconds to do it. So the way it's done is you will take a nice deep breath through your nose and set six seconds, you count to six. And then you hold for six. 
and then you exhale for six. And then of course, gratitude is always the best practice. You can practice gratitude for six seconds. You can think about one or two things you're grateful for today. It can be something really simple like having electricity or sunshine, having a coffee this morning. Uh, I feel more relaxed doing that exercise all, already. Um, what about for someone who has a lot of negative thoughts? Um, what are some things that they could do? Yeah, that's an ex excellent question. Um, we all have error thoughts, so thoughts we think that just maybe aren't quite true, right? So a great thing to do is question your thoughts. For example, maybe you think this meeting will be a disaster. Um, that could be a, a habit thought or a trigger th thought that creates some anxiety and asking yourself what evidence you even have to validate that thought can be really helpful. Maybe it's just simply an error or like I said, just a habit of thinking that way. It's not true, so you can then start to let it go. Um, I always like to say, try on your thoughts like you try on shoes. If the shoe doesn't fit, you can change it. Yeah, and I can add to that, um, and this was very important to me when I first learned it, that we are not our emotions and we are not our thoughts. We are the consciousness that's, that observes it. So just reminding yourself that really simple idea can be life changing. Oh man, the, those are some excellent tools. Um, so of, of course, if you need some additional support, uh, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that either. So Volvo has the employee assistance program known as Health Advocate. Uh, WebMD also has a stress management program built into our WebMD One platform. And Volvo and the Health for Life program have teamed up for the month of May to do a mental health awareness walking challenge. This challenge is super easy. It is just take a walk. It's try to do a walking meeting, make a walking group, or have little tiny walking breaks. So the goal here is instead of kicking back and getting more anxious and doing more work, it's getting up, moving, having a little bit of fresh air and maybe some sunshine, and take a small walk. So these little walks, when we're talking just three to five minutes at a time, little kind of walk, not a half hour at a time walk, they'll add up and they'll start to change your attitude and change your mental health. Maya can also work with you on more stress management tools as well. Absolutely, and you will also see me taking those short little walking breaks throughout the day. So please, if you see me, come join me. Uh, we can chat as we walk and I'm always here to help and support you in any way I can. Excellent, and we would love to hear your ideas and strategies as well. So make sure to post them on our Facebook page. Make sure you hit like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Um, and if you want more, tips and tricks, you can schedule a health coaching session at no cost using the My Premise Health app. Um, thanks for listening in today. And if you want to reach out to us, you can find us at maya.hickman at premisehealth.com or kevin.munez at consultant.volvo.com. Thanks for listening, everybody. Have a good day. Bye, everybody. Bye.